My favorite part on the show is when you expect one thing to happen and then the exact opposite happens. His stomach is inside oh. his helmet. And a perfect example was a bull in a china shop. You've heard this expression your whole life, bull in a china shop. It means a really clumsy person breaking things. Did it hurt the bull? I'm okay. You know, we set up this kind of rickety shelved china shop, complete with all these dishes in this bull pen. This one looks like it's ready to go without the bull. And we let one bull in. For us, it was just a laugh. Oh, dang! Here comes the bull! Oh, look, he's totally avoiding all the china. It was the most graceful thing I'd ever seen. And it was running fast. It wasn't just walking. I mean, it was moving quick, just weaving in and out of these shelves, not even touching it. Whoa, he's getting right through the shelves without knocking over a single piece. That was cool. OK, that's strange. Let's let two bulls in. So the two bulls, one follows the other one, and they just go around the china shop. Look at that. <laughs> They're very careful of the breaking china. I I was elated when I found out that the bulls weren't going to break anything because it was just so counterintuitive. I mean, they're big, giant, lumbering beasts. But no, they're ballet dancers. They're the ballet dancers of the wild. I think we're going to have to just admit it. It's a stupid saying. I'm never going to use it again. Bull in a china shop busted. Busted. Yeah. It's busted. Next Wednesday, don't miss the Mythbusters Top 25 Special. An episode eight years in the making. A special two-hour Mythbusters next Wednesday at 9, only on Discovery.